to my channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great, fantastic day. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be retesting the Makeup Revolution Soph Super Spice Palette. Now, I've made a little bit of a mistake when it comes to this palette. Um, I've been practicing and playing with this palette and coming to my realization, this is discontinued. <laughs> I am terribly sorry guys, I didn't realise this was discontinued, I've been playing around with this palette for a couple of days now and I've just been really really loving it, so a bit of a spoiler, I really really like this palette, if you guys want an alternative to this palette, Beauty Bay do some incredible eyeshadow palettes, they do some really nice rainbow ones, so if you're looking for a rainbowy kind of palette I'd recommend that one, or BH Cosmetics do like a rainbow palette as well those are really really good but since i played around with this palette for quite a few days now and i've come across an eye look that i really really like i just thought it'd be an absolute shame and a waste to just um, ditch my review so i might as well still review it because you guys might still have this in your collection so if it's still sitting there and you're not too sure whether you still like it or not at least then I can give you guys a little heads up on the palette and help refresh your memory as much as my memory. So I'm going to play around with this palette and let you guys know my second thoughts about it. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar down below. So if you guys will know my second thoughts on the Revolution Soph Super Spice Palette, just keep watching. All right, guys, let's replay with the Soph Super Spice Palette. This is the eye look that I came up with. It's this smoky blue wing. The inspiration came from this artist here. I will link her Instagram down below if you want to check it out. It's just absolutely stunning. The only thing I did wrong was her liner was a lot more soft and blended. It wasn't sharp, so I shouldn't have used tape really. So that was my mistake. So we all make mistakes. We live and we learn. But uh, yeah, but I still had fun creating this eye look and I hope you enjoy it as well. So let's jump straight into it. So I've already primed this eye with a little bit of eyeshadow base. I'm going to grab the shade Cookie Dough, which is this colour right here, this light brown colour, on a Real Techniques fluffy brush. Well, I think it's a shadow blending brush. The writing is so old on this. I'm going to work all this in the crease and bring it outwards. I'm now going to grab the shade Cereal, which is this slightly darker brown colour, on another fluffy brush. I think this is by Studio London. This is from their Christmas set. I'm going to start packing that just on the outer edge. And really buff and blend it in and go back in with that first shade as well and just blend them in together. I'm now going to take the shade Dreamy, which is this beautiful Dumachrome colour. It's stunning. It's like a blue pinky shift. It's really pretty. I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to just apply that halfway across the lid. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I'm going to take the shade Mirable on another finger and apply this right next to that colour and in the inner corner and apply some to the brow bone as well. Right, and here comes the fun part, the liner part. It's the longest and it's the most part you have to blend. So, I'm gonna take the shade Night Owl, which is the darkest black color in the palette. I'm going on a flat brush and I have to place this precisely. If I went up too high, it's just gonna look a mess. So I'm starting quite low, starting quite small here and dragging it across not bringing it up too high whatsoever. I'm bringing it a bit outwards. Just about there. Right, that is as much black as I'm going to add. I don't want to add too much, otherwise you can just overdo it. So you just add a little and blend out and add a bit more. So for the blue, I'm going to take the shade Blue Lagoon, which is this blue colour here, taking it on a smaller flat brush, and I'm going to start blending it slightly over top. So not layer, but just slightly above. 
slightly above it and just sort of smudging it out with the black you will have to go back in with the black and re-add it in and then add the blue on top again and just do like a smudging motion as you can see it's blending out a line okay so I've re-added and blended, re-added and blended I've done as much as I possibly can it's not because they were unblendable it's just because they're darker colours and darker colours you have to sort of work with a little bit more so I've done the absolute best I can so I'm pretty much going to do the same thing but on the lower lash line now so I'm going to go in with the black and then with the blue on the edge so go back in with Night Owl on that same brush I'm going to run this in the waterline and also around my eye right go back in with the blue and just go around the outer edge and bringing it up alongside the black Alright guys, so I've just added some false lashes and these are the eyes completed. This palette guys is a really nice palette. I absolutely love the Dumachromes in this. The colours in it are really nice. The only colour that wasn't my favourite I remember which was Lockdown. This one wasn't particularly my favourite. It was just too overpowdery and doesn't blend. But the other colours are really really nice and like I said before I love the Dumachromes in these. These are beautiful. So if you can still get your hand on this palette somewhere I still recommend it. I think it's a really good palette if you're looking for a bright colourful palette it's a really good one but if you're looking for something similar definitely go on Beauty Bay Beauty Bay have got so many amazing great palettes for quite a reasonable price so I'd recommend them if you cannot get hold of this anymore but really nice and this was a lot of fun they blend really nicely they're pigmented really good little palette still I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today if you have please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by Every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye guys. Take care.